Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments, I'm going to use your initials for privacy purposes. Uh, M.A. And how's it going? And this is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at Stealth, the seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. I'm also uh, your uh, TOEFL instructor at California State University at the English language program over there. And uh, thank you for completing your practice test. So let's take a look at what we have here. So, uh, wow, you got a lot of development, too. I, I wanted to tell you that, first of all. <laughs> and also, I think you have a fairly clear organization. So in your thesis, you say, you say, uh, I'd love to live near movie theater. In my opinion, this will help me run out of stress and depression. It will help people to enjoy their free time, and this will help the economy in the neighborhood, and it will create jobs. So then you get into your different points. Now, the one thing I'd like you to do, just a slight change in your topic sentences, is you want to reframe them so they more directly connect to the task and they create more of what's called an argument. All right, so for example, in your second paragraph, you said the movie theater nowadays is part of most communities for entertainment reasons. Now, that's a fact. But what if you said this? You said, firstly, building a movie theater near my neighborhood will give our community more entertainment possibilities. Now, if you said that, that will connect better to the actual writing prompt and you create more of an arguable topic sentence which allows you now to back up the claim that you just made. And that would help you create more of an argument. Okay, let's look at your next paragraph. You say, secondly, most of the time when I have nothing to do, I start to feel bored and lost because I don't drive. So what I might do here is take your second sentence, put it as your first sentence, and say, secondly, if a movie theater is built in my neighborhood, comma, it will give me something to do during my free time. Right? And then you go on and defend that idea. Now, the next topic sentence I think is perfect. You say a movie theater in the area means more jobs coming up. That one, I think, uh, you might even say this. You might say building a new movie theater in my area will create more jobs. Now, if you use the word building, that's going to tie back to part of the question where it says maybe built in your neighborhood. So we're not just talking about movie theaters in general because there's movie theaters all over. The question here is should you build one in your neighborhood, yes or no, right? That's, that's really the question. Okay, so I think you could make some changes, as I pointed out, in the topic sentences of paragraphs 2, 3, and 4 so that you create more of an argument. Okay, now the next thing... In your conclusion, I think it's fairly organized. Your conclusion kind of restates, I think, the key points that you mentioned in your body paragraph. So I, I think that you're going in the right direction there. All right, so in terms of organization, I think you can work a little bit better on those topic sentences. Now let's take a look at language use. So also when you're writing you are having some problems with your sentence structure and I want to go through each paragraph and I'm going to point out one particular example of what you could do to minimize some of the errors you're making. So in the first paragraph second line you say and what you can do right now is you might want to Right under the YouTube video, there's a description box. Click on that, and you will see your essay right there. So then you can see what I'm doing. Okay, in, in the first paragraph, you say, There are some neighborhoods where very boring area, and there are no close shops or other entertainment places. So you already have are and you have were. So you have two different verbs in there. And the first verb is present, and your second verb is past which I don't think works. So what if you did this? If you said, 
instead of there are, just say some neighborhoods are very boring areas. Maybe instead of and, say because. There are no clothes shops and other entertainment places, all right? So to help straighten out your sentence formation problem there, again, I would say this. Some neighborhoods are very boring areas because there are no clothes shops or other entertainment places. That's the change I would make with that particular sentence. Okay, let's take a look at your second paragraph. You say, the movie theater nowadays is part of most communities for entertainment reasons. Perfect. You say, in fact, in our days... I would say here just, in fact, how about um, presently maybe instead of in our days, just say presently, instead of most of the people, say most people are suffering from depression and stress from here, you can say from <coughs> things such as work, school, family, and economic disaster. So after the word things, I wouldn't use a comma there. All right, that would be my change I would make there. So just say, instead of in our day, say presently, most people, how about this, even our suffering don't even need, say presently, most people suffer, or how about suffer, suffer depression and stress from things such as work, school, family, and economic disasters. All right, let's go to your third paragraph. And by the way, you're using some good transition words in here. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You're using words like in fact, secondly, firstly, thirdly, in conclusion. Keep that up. This is very good. Because those transition words, they help me keep track of what you're saying. And I can see the relationship between the different ideas in different paragraphs. Okay, the next paragraph where it says secondly... It's good. There's no major problems there. I might put right after the word two, you probably don't need the comma. So you can probably say, moreover, this will be a great idea for teenagers since they do not drive two. Okay, let's go to the next paragraph. Good vocabulary. Implement. And in the previous paragraph, you use the word complex. Those are good words. It's kind of college. You're college level with your vocabulary. I appreciate some of the words that you're using here. No, I think that one's okay too. Okay, let's go to your final paragraph, you say. I think this one's okay. No problems. Okay, so I made some suggestions. You had some minor language use issues. Uh, I think you could probably improve your topic sentence is a little bit better than what you did, but still, I think this is a, a, a fairly well-written essay. So uh, I'm going to put you at, I'm going to say 3.50 out of 5. This will put you at 22 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. And uh, for this class, uh, let me check my syllabus here. Hold on a minute. So I can figure out what grade to give you. So I didn't have that ready. Okay, that's going to put you at 85% on the assignment. Now, what do you do now? I, I, I do have some lessons, I think, that might help you. I'm going to make some recommendations right now. So let me go ahead and pull up. I'm going to pull up the, the writing area. Okay, under the writing part of our course, you might want to write these down. These are some things that you can do to help improve your writing a little bit more before you take my writing final exam. Uh, take a look at uh, Lesson 5.1, Writing Effective Topic Sentences. I think that would be uh, important for you. And maybe one more, maybe less than 5.3, writing details to support generalizations. 
Now you do have some minor word choice issues. They're, they're not major. But if you go to my grammar lesson number seven and you go to the website, the website's called A Writer's Reference by Diana Hacker, seventh edition. If you go there, uh, you can get <laughs> uh, some instruction, some good editing instruction. But you don't have to practice a lot there. But I'd recommend maybe one to two hours a week, maybe for the next two months, you can work at A Writer's Reference. And that's going to help you minimize some of the errors that you're having in your writing and maybe even in your speaking. All right, anyway, nicely done. I, 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 as I said before, uh, I liked how you constructed your thesis statement. I liked your use of transition words in the body paragraphs. It made it very easy. And you did have a lot of details in there to help support your generalizations.